Hello. In this video, we are going to create an AWS Lambda function using Java and invoke it using an API. Following are the steps we are going to follow throughout this video. First, we are going to set up the AWS toolkit in our Eclipse or STS IDE. Then, we are going to create a new Lambda project using Java. Third, we are going to upload this project to AWS Lambda. Fourth, we are going to invoke this AWS Lambda function from our STS or Eclipse IDE. Fifth, we are going to invoke AWS Lambda function from AWS console. Sixth, we can also create an API using AWS API Gateway and then bind it with our AWS Lambda. And last, we are going to hit this API to invoke the AWS Lambda function. So let's get started. First, we are going to go to STS and install the AWS toolkit. We can go to help, install new softwares. Here, we can type the URL that is https colon double backslash aws.amazon.com backslash eclipse. As we can see, the multiple options, but all we need is two things. AWS Toolkit for Eclipse Core and AWS Lambda Plugin. Select these two and then hit next. I'm going to accept the terms and condition of this license agreement. Now our STS IDE is ready with the plugins installed. Our next step is to create a new AWS Lambda project in Java. We can go to File, New. And then we can search for the AWS project. We can select AWS Lambda Java project. Hit Next. Here we can define the name of our project. I'm naming it AWS Lambda Demo. Here we can define the class name. I'm going to leave it to the default name. And input type is, we are going to use custom event. We can also see the code here, a code preview. In case of custom event, the handle request will start taking a type object. In case of any other, the input parameter will change. After finishing creating our project, we will be able to see one defaultly created class. The class is implementing a request handler, which is, of, which is from the Amazon AWS jar. Here we can see the input type as object because we created a custom input type. For our sample example, we can change it to a string. Now, Here we are doing nothing, but we are just logging the input parameter type that we are getting and we are returning a sample string. In this string, I'm going to just append the input parameter that we are passing. Once done, we can now upload this AWS Lambda function project to AWS console. From first, I'm going to show you how we can upload this project from STS itself. On clicking right, we'll be able to see this new option, AWS Web Services. This option came after we installed the AWS Toolkit. We can select the upload function to AWS Lambda. We can select any region here. We can select our function name. I'm going to leave these things default. Next, it is going to ask us about our IAM role, which has the permission to run this function 
I'm going to select my Alexa role. This role has AWS full access for Lambda function. Also, as we can see, there is no bucket available in US East. Hence, we can create a new bucket. We can define the name here. I'm going to leave it with the default name. We can hit finish. And done. Now we will verify this AWS Lambda project on our AWS console. We can go to Lambda and see a new function called my function, which we just uploaded 17 seconds ago. Next, we can also verify in S3 bucket. This was the bucket name that we chose at the time we were uploading the Lambda function. Now, we are going to run this Lambda function from our STS IDE. We can right click, go to Amazon Web Services, run function on AWS Lambda. We can enter the JSON input for our function. We are only passing a string. So I'm going to type hello. This is demo string. We are going to click the show live log and invoke this function. If you see the console, this is our function output. Hello from Lambda. Hello, this is demo string. And these are our function log output where we are appending the string input. Hello, this is demo string. It is very simple. The next thing we can do, we are going to create an AWS API in AWS API gateway and invoke this function through that API. We can go to AWS console and search for API gateway. We can click on get started. We are creating a new API. We can give the name of this API. I'm gonna go with the sample. Create API. Now, we will have to create a resource first. So we can go to action, create a new resource. We can give a resource name here. My resource name is my sample resource. This is going to be the path that is going to be appended in the API that we are going to hit. So we can hit create resource. Now we can create a method. So method defines the type of request that we are going to do. As we have to post a string, I'm going to go with a post type of API. Our integration with this API, we are going to do with the Lambda functions. So we can select Lambda function. Region, we can select where our function resides. Here we can pass our function name and click on save. Click OK. And it is done. To test this, first we can click on test. In request body, we can pass this is sample string and click on test. This is the log that are generated on invoking the lambda function. So in the logs, we can see the endpoint request body after transformation is this is sample string. We can see that the re we received the response as well. 
and in the response we can see hello from lambda this is sample string so we can click on action deploy api i'm going to give the environment name as test description as test api and click on deploy if we see here we got a api invoke url we can copy this url we can copy this url and go to postman this is a post request we will have to add the url endpoint which in this case is my sample resource and in the body we can pass the text this is a sample string we can hit post and there we go we got our output hello from lambda this is a sample string so that is it from this sample demo i hope this helps in creating you a first lambda function and how we can invoke it using aws api if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section thank you very much for watching